Hello guys, it's Dope Waffle here, aka 360 Mods and Hacks on YouTube, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to set up your JTAG, RGH, or Dev Kit Xbox 360 to go online on the latest dashboard, which is 16547. All right, today's date is going uh, to be 119 2014. It's on a Sunday, and this is just kind of a long overhauled process of getting your console online for a lot of beginners that uh, got to understand how to do it and stop asking support questions that people have already asked before so to get started with this um, you're gonna want to download uh, these files that I have right here on the desktop it's called JTAG files what these are and I'll go over them with you right now um, you're gonna find inside of the JTAG files folder a JRPC and a RPC. This connects real-time memory editing tools, also known as RTE tools, to connect to your game um, over LAN or Wi-Fi. So it just kind of helps connect them and get them running smoothly and everything like that. Without the RPC and the JRPC, you cannot use real-time editing tools online with your console and then xbdm.xex is going to be your console um, speaking of console I'm going to turn one on right now so I can show this to you now um, and then the launch INI um, when you look at it in notepad or anything like that it's just gonna have a few things in here um, such as plugins uh, like plugin one is stealth which you need to go online with uh, XBDM is for neighborhood, JRPC, RPC, XRPC, um, you don't need. So we're good on that part, but I'm going to go ahead and include all these files with a download. So let's see here. Neighborhood is one of the crucial um, steps to making real-time uh, memory editing tools online. So when you, uh, when you download in the uh, description of this video, um, you'll get a bi really big file and it's going to be called uh, Xbox, I think it's XDK or SDK, I can't remember which one it is exactly. Um, download that and then you will uh, you will see another icon once you got it installed on your desktop Click uh, that says add Xbox 360. Your screen will look just like this when you start it out. Click add Xbox 360, click next. Now make sure that your Xbox is connected to your router or Wi-Fi and it is fully connected to the internet even if you don't have stealth that is what you will need and only do these steps after you have put the JRPC XRPC and Xbox Live Stealth.xdx on the root of your hard drive so it says Xbox 360 name or IP address you can do one of two things you can go to your console settings and look up your console's name and change it or just type it in right here as it is which mine is JTAG or you can go to XEX menu and press the right bumper twice and then you will see a 192.168.x.xx whatever those numbers are at the end and that is going to be your default gateway into your router and that's how this connects so once you find one of those two things you're gonna click next and then it'll say would you like to use and then it'll say JTAG whatever your console's name is or your uh, default uh, gateway IP uh, as the Xbox 360 development kit so yes we're going to set it as the default and then you're going to click finish so now you have all access SDP into your console and this makes it a lot easier and this makes tools being able to connect now when I say on the root of your hard drive in XEX menu you're going to go to HDD1 or simply with neighborhood launch it and click retail hard drive emulation now that will show you everything that is in the root of your hard drive as it sits. So, um, as you can see, I already have most of the stuff plugged in, like JRPC, XBDM, Xbox Live Stealth, and RPC. So we're good there. Um, a few other things you're going to need is um, a game, obviously, but there are many tutorials on that. I will actually add one into the thread I'm going to be building on Seven Sins on how to do that along with the dashboard update which you should do before this which I forgot to bring up sorry about that um, and then uh, you're going to need a KV and a CPU key now you don't need a K you don't need a CPU key dot bin sorry if you're not on a shared KV 
you can just simply put the kv.bin in there now a xbox comes with the key vault which is kind of like its own serial number um that goes into your console's nand and um kind of like reflects the servers to tell it if it's banned or not there's been a lot of speculation about how they all work and stuff like that but that's just how i'm going to explain it for now and um a key vault unbans your console so a lot of errors people have been getting like they can't connect to live or anything like that it's because you don't have a key vault and a key vault is just kind of like a file that lets you go online that tells the servers your console is not banned every time you get banned you will need another key vault so I'm not gonna go too much into that um, any KV seller on you know any trusted KV seller not on seven sins but somewhere else will be able to show you how to get all of that set up okay so <coughs> as far as um, making real-time editing tools work now that you have JRPC and RPC um, it's now time to download a tool now I'm gonna put a few links of tools in the uh, in the thread or maybe even the YouTube description but I personally use Revival 1.8 just because I bought it when they had Ghostbusters and they kept updating and updating and updating and it I mean it works really good it's the fastest force host I've ever seen so with Revival open okay um one thing you're gonna notice is a lot of stuff like this now if you click connect and you don't have JRPC or XRPC and you try to click like XP or something like that and it gives you a .NET framework error there's one of two fixes for this um, either you don't have net framework 4.5 or you don't have the right plugins on your launch INI which hopefully if you replaced it and you followed this video correctly up until now you should have it um, as far as going to connect you just click connect and it'll say connected to and then it'll say your console's name so you got success on that part all right so now that you have the tool open it's safe to go launch the game right now as you can see I'm just gonna screen capture this right now I'm just sitting at the dashboard uh, as it sits so JTAG retail hard drive emulation now this is how to launch a game right here you're going to either rip the game with XEX menu or you're going to um, you know, find another way maybe like FTP with neighborhood from an ISO that you got from a torrent or that you downloaded from like Xbox 360 ISO something like that and um, you're gonna put it in a games folder and then with your games folder you can go all the way you know three four deep from the root and then find a file called default MP dot XEX now that is what you're going to use to launch it the MP stands for multiplayer and then that's the main menu so I'm going to launch launch default MP dot XEX I don't know if it launched it, but I'm pretty sure it did. And then we're going to go back. And then um, just to prove to you it launched, um, let me see here. Go to screen capture. So now we're sitting at the ghost main menu or whatever. And um, now that everything's good to go, you should be able to log in and um, should be able to view everything as if you were playing on a retail Xbox but now that you have this tool connected or any other tool that you you, you can use connected you can do everything that this tool has in the game like all client that's going to be everybody um, off host mods if you want to go troll people you know you got stuff like that and etc etc so this is a pretty brief tutorial I might be making a more detailed one later um, if you wanted to, if any new guys want to drop a comment uh, and you know tell me if you need something specific to help with just let me know and I'll make a video as fast as I can um, I know a lot of stuff about it and so do a lot of members on seven cent well I wouldn't say a lot but most of the members on seven sins uh, they do know a lot of stuff about this so they might be able to chime in and help but that's pretty much the end of this tutorial for today uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, make sure to maybe drop a like and say thanks